Welcome back, my sensation seekers. I am Reaper. This is Fiery Feast. And on this episode of Hot or Not, I'm going to be answering the question of whether the bee's knees spicy honey is truly hot or not. So let's get into this. I had to find something to be able to eat this with. Um, so I have a thing of saltine crackers here. They're perfect because they are plain. The only flavor they have is a salty flavor. They're not going to overpower the honey. They're not going to do anything to it. So the only taste I will get is the honey and the heat of the honey if it has heat. A nice big amount on there. And let's find out. This part of hot or not is always a struggle for me because I'm torn between do I judge these products on if they have heat at all, which any food item that says it's spicy should inherently have heat. And then I'm torn between if this should be judged not if it has heat, because most likely it will, but how long does the heat last okay. and how efficient is the heat? So with the honey, the heat dissipates very fast, so ultimately I think it's I a need a little bit more because the amount of heat that you get does not last long enough that it is worth having any spice in it in the first place, if that makes sense. So these are often very hard to judge, and that's often why I don't say anything in the middle of them. If I go, does it have heat? 90% of the time, it's gonna be yes. So then it's, it's really, is it effective as a spicy food item? Let's talk about this. But before we get to the verdict, a word from my sponsor, me. Sensation Seekers, are you looking to add more spice to your life? Then check out FieryFeast.com, the best in hot and spicy merch. Shirts, water bottles, bags, pillows, and more, all emblazoned with our signature handmade logo. Whether you're a fan of hot food or just looking for a fun and unique gift, Fiery Feast has what you're looking for. So, is this spicy? This is always the hard part because there's never not going to be spice unless it doesn't have chilies in it, the chili peppers in it. So there's always going to be some level of spice. And when I looked this up, I specifically looked up world's hottest honey. And in that regards, doesn't even come close. As a spicy honey, there's a little something there. Um, if I had to rate it, I'd say it's the heat of a jalapeno. But there is a little heat there. It feels like eating a handful of jalapenos. So yes, there's heat. Heat from the world's hottest honey? No. So overall, I think I have to rank this honey. Although good. As all honey is. I don't think there's ever a bad honey. This is a not. It is not spicy. And it's not enough to be classified as the world's hottest honey. 
Now, granted, I will, as a caveat, I will say the manufacturers themselves did not say it was the world's hottest honey. Let's be clear, they didn't say that. But when you search it on Amazon and you put in world's hottest honey, that's what it comes up as. And it is not. It's good. It's got spice. But it's definitely a not. I think that wraps it up for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon to stay up to date with everything this channel has to offer. The link to the Fiery Feast merch store is in the description below. And as always, keep life spicy.